what the Bullitt Foundation is doing is devoting essentially all of its resources now to human ecology, the places where the conservation issues come in direct contact with, with humanity, and that ordinarily expresses itself in human well-being broadly written, but in human health in particular. Imagine a living building behaving like a living organism, harnessing enough energy from the sun to meet all its needs, using no water except the rain that falls on its roof, containing no toxic materials, producing zero waste. Imagine you can design, build, live, and work in such a building. It's proof, and it's proof at a scale, I think, that's surprising people. And it's proof at a, at a, at a size and in a location where people can interact and be aware of it and be part of the process. It's really incredible. We've gotten to the point where incrementalism no longer is doing the trick. We've, we've got to make giant strides, giant leaps in, into a new way of doing things. This was clearly not business as usual. They were really trying to reach a much higher bar than anybody else has. Seattle's Bullet Center is a response to the Living Building Challenge, the world's toughest set of environmental goals for green buildings. It's striving to create a model for true sustainability. Designed to last for 250 years, it sets a new standard for resilience and self-sufficiency. The process is part of the product. We're being closely watched out here, and I think that's a good thing, and hopefully it will spur some more construction growth, especially in the green building direction. At the Bullet Center, the proof is in the process. Steel, concrete, wood, ducts, pipes, and panels reimagined and re-engineered greener by a host of architects, engineers, subcontractors, and tradespeople. We're blessed to be in business for 120 years, but we didn't get there by just resting on our laurels. We're always looking for new, innovative things, and the Bullet Center has created a great opportunity for us to expand. For subcontractors like Goldfinch Brothers, the center has demanded new technologies, partnerships, and learning. The chief innovation here is back to the future, motorized office windows that automatically open and shut to control temperature and allow natural ventilation. If you really want to build a green building today in any city in the United States, you'll find yourself in violation of maybe two dozen regulations and laws. The Bullet Foundation worked with the city of Seattle to review its building codes and help create pathways and incentives for higher performing, greener, living buildings. Our codes weren't developed to build a living building, and we didn't know what changes needed to be made in our codes, which is why we did the demonstration ordinance and basically said, greater flexibility, but still meet um, community standards for designs. I think that this is uh, a collection of lessons learned. Um, there's been a tremendous amount of research and, and tremendous number of stumbling blocks along with that. The real goal of this project is not to hide those, but to share that information with other project teams in the future so that we can just make more informed decisions as we move forward. It really is going to be a showcase for the Living Building Challenge, a net zero building. And to be a part of that is, is pretty special. In a truly living building, the proof is in the performance. Does it meet its goals of energy efficiency and environmental stewardship? And can its human occupants change their own behaviors as well? I think that most people are prepared to make small changes in their lifestyle if they can be shown that it's in their interest to do so. Every occupant is going to have to be really rigorous about everything they're plugging into every socket because each tenant will have an energy budget they have to live within. We're just trying to make it a building where doing the right thing, the healthy thing, the environmentally sound thing is also the convenient thing. The Bullet Center is ultimately a people project. Innovation, instruction, imagination, creating living proof. If this building is alone five years from now, then, then it's just been a complete waste. Our whole purpose is to be an instrument of change. And to use this building, not just to influence developers and architects, but also the bankers who finance all of these things, the city governments that set up the codes that make living buildings illegal almost every place in the world, all of the people who are involved in making these kinds of decisions.